Good evening, ladies, and welcome to the first call from the Fearless Four. We have lots of information for you this evening, and we are so excited um, to actually pull this off and get it together and get the recording out there for you all. So I am Jessica Seiler. I'm your purple exclusive presenter with Unique, and I am going to start off the meeting just talking a little bit about personal growth which is something that's very near and dear to my heart. So I have been studying uh, nonstop for about two years, it seems like. Um, actually, tomorrow is my two-year anniversary with Unique. I'm so excited. But I've been studying for two years to become a professional in network marketing. And I really feel like it's paid off. Uh, and I want that for all of you. So did you know that only 10% of people will go out and learn when they don't have to? That's incredible to me that we are in the 10%. And if you're on this call tonight, then that is a start for you. So don't ever stop learning. Every chance you get, you need to watch YouTube videos. There's Amber Voigt. There's Sherry Brown. There's Kara Lewis-Newton. There's all kinds. And we will encourage you to start watching the Fearless Four videos that we're going to have for you every week and those will be broadcasted through YouTube as well. So nothing easy is worth committing your life to. And I know that firsthand and I'm sure all of you know that firsthand. Um, God, my marriage, my children, my business, every one of these I work my butt off for and I can tell you that they're all worth every ounce of energy. And one thing that I wanted to focus on because I feel like maybe uh, for a, about six months of my journey with Unique, I was in a winter, just a storm like a blizzard. And I um, want you to know that everybody has a winter. It's the season of winter. So every single year you're going to have that. Um, and it might not actually be during winter. It might be during spring, but kind of like a drought in your business. And that's okay. There's going to be a time every year when things aren't going to go your way. Maybe your sales are down. Maybe you're not having as many recruits as you want to. There will be a winter for every aspect of your life, including this business. So maybe it's your family. Maybe it's your friendships. Maybe it's your marriage. Um, but I want to encourage you that successful people keep plugging away. The winter does not stop them. And it has not stopped me. So I want to encourage you that if this is you, to keep going, keep plugging away, keep learning. So another fun fact that I learned from Eric Warre, which is somebody that I study a lot, is that you become the average of five people you spend your time with. That is crazy. So three of the ladies on this call, I spend a lot of time with, and I am honored that I would become the average of them. But this is so important to think about because when your business is concerned, you need to surround yourself with people that lift you up encourage you and help you grow as a person. I mean, you really need to think about it. If you're hanging out with people that are discouraging, then it's not going to help you grow your business. The other thing I want to focus on is you need to make your business a must. M-U-S-T, a must. You need to ask yourself, why is this a must? For me, is it that you want to get out of credit card debt? Do you want to stay home with your kids? Are you a single mom that needs income to stay alive? I don't know what your situation is, but professional growth, and personal growth in this business, that has to be a must. And it, I learn from Eric Warre. Eric Warre is not a presenter with Unique. I learn from uh, Sarah Robbins. I studied her for six hours today in the car. I listened to her nonstop. She is not a presenter with Unique, but I'm telling you, these people are brilliant when it comes to growing your business in network marketing. And I want to end with this. Every time you open your mouth, you share your love for Unique and you are working your business. So every single time that your mouth is open, you share your love for your business and that means you're working it. So ladies, please don't ever stop learning. Keep plugging away. And I look forward to talking to you next week I want to introduce Brandy McDougall. Brandy is a green elite presenter with Unique. My very, very, very close friend. Her and I have become best of friends throughout this journey, and we have each other's back. 
and she is so bright and very successful and loves people. So I want to turn it over to her. Brandy? Thank you, Miss Jessica. Um, first of all, I am just so excited and honored to be uh, working side by side with these beautiful women and just every bit and every piece that we have to offer, we want to share with you. Um, all four of us combined just make this just awesome team and we are really excited to be able to share our knowledge with you guys. So I'm going to pick up uh, where Jessica left off, uh, or actually continue on that same sort of theme. Um, personal development and personal growth is a huge part of um, being successful with your unique business. It is one aspect of um, action items. So when you decide that you want to be a pink status presenter, or a blue status presenter, green status, black status, whatever your goal with Unique is, there is the words to say, I'm going to be a black status presenter. And then mixed with the words is your actual action plan or your success plan. However you want to word it, there are actually action steps to get you to your goal. Um, something that is a huge part of your action steps are the personal development books. Um, the books, the tutorials, the YouTube videos, the trainings that you attend. Um, watching this video is something that's going to get you to your goal. Um, so your monthly success plan is going to include personal development. Um, your success plan is going to include what is your PRS goal? So if you have a PRS goal of um, say $500, what does $500 look to you? Does that include two um, online parties? Does that include uh, one one-on-one? -on -one? Does that include one vendor event? How are you going to get to your goal of $500? Same um, goes for the, um, action item of sponsoring, growing your team. How are you gonna grow your team? Just like Jessica said, when your mouth is open, your business is open. Um, are you posting in your online parties about the opportunity? Or do you have a um, picture of the presenter kit when you do vendor events? So all of these things are actually action items to get your to your goals. I have a really awesome um, success plan that I'm going to share with you guys. And it basically shows um, the steps that you're going to take, not only monthly and weekly, but daily. Drill down to um, the daily tasks, so to speak. I, I don't like saying the word tasks, but they really are um, action items that get you to your goal. So did you make a video this week? Did you um, post on your business page once a day? Uh, did you post on your personal wall? Um, we want to definitely make these um, attainable. Um, posting on your wall, say 80%, 20%. So that means 80% of the things that you post are about life or quotes or your family and then 20% about unique. You wanna make sure you get that one post a day in. Um, however, however discreet it might be, you definitely wanna slip it in. Um, these are all things that are going to get you to your goal. If you want to have a PRS of 2000 to $3,000, it's just not going to happen. I mean, it could for some people, but you're gonna to need to be posting in your VIP groups. You're gonna be need to be hosting between five and 10 online parties, one vendor event, um, two to three one-on-ones. All these things add up to correlate together to increase your PRS, to um, <clears throat> sponsor people into your business. It's word of mouth and it's getting um, yourself out there and known. And like I said, I have this really awesome success plan that we are going to um, share with you guys. And you can print it out at the beginning of every month and literally check it off. Um, so that way you know where you're at. 
and how you are trending. So I'll just say um, one of the quotes that is actually on our success plan is, dreams don't work unless you do. So the dream is possible for everybody, but there are actual steps to get there. So I'm gonna end on that note and pass the video over to the fabulous Miss Lacey Marshall. She is an elite green status presenter and is just a fabulous human being. The ideas that she comes up with are mind blowing and I cannot be happier to be sharing this training video with her and I'm looking forward to hearing what she has to say. So take it away, Lacey. Wow, thank you for such a sweet introduction. I appreciate it. Um, well, I am going to also elaborate a little bit on uh, what Jessica has said, as well as what Brandy has said. Um, you know, we're talking about professional development. We're talking about um, putting things into action, saying those things out into the universe. And one of the things that I also want to talk to you guys about is the importance of your team. So um, I'll just kind of talk to you guys about an example of if you are potentially going for green. So you need to be looking at your team constantly. Did I go away for a second? <laughs> Sorry, I got a notification that said my stuff was muted. <laughs> um, okay, I'm talking about importance of team. I wanna start with our comp plan. Um, our comp plan is designed to specifically help you to help others. So everyone within your team, you wanna to continue to help them grow and meet, reach their own goals before you will actually be able to attain, attain and reach some of your own. Um, ultimately, you cannot promote within our company past blue with, I did this again, past green without actually helping your teammates to also promote and get their goals. Um, so how is this going to look? One of the very first things that you need to be looking at is your downline. And I don't mean just your specifically sponsored women. I, I mean everybody within your downline. So you want to look at all the people, all the brand new people, all the people that have zero PRS, all the people that have 4,000 PRS, everyone. You need to be looking at every single person and reaching out to each of them. Um, figuring out who within your downline, what their goals are specifically. You know, we are all going to have those people there that are our hobbyists that just want to sell maybe 125 every three months, keep their discount. And then we have our girls that want to hit black status in a year. Um, you need to know who those people are in your downline. You need to know your runners and you need to know your walkers. Run with your runners, walk with your walkers. So specifically for this example, we're talking about somebody wanting to promote to green. So that's what we'll kind of use for that um, circle of sales that you're going to need to try to hit green and what it may look like for you on your team and on your downline. So looking within, I have one girl who wants to promote to blue. That means that by the end of the month, if she is to attain her goal, she's going to have at least $4,000 in circle sales. We also have two girls that want to promote to pink. So those two together at the end of the month are going to have at least $4,000 together in circle sales. That's gonna total you out at $8,000 in circle sales. Plus you have two brand new presenters who want to get yellow by the end of the month. Those two girls are gonna to total $2,000 for your circle sales, which is going to give you total $10,000 in your green. Obviously, this doesn't also include all those other girls. That's only five girls on your team who mm -hmm. have their own team. That doesn't include our hobbyists that maybe want to only sell $100 this month. Um, that also doesn't include you. If you're going for green, you know that you've got a personal goal. You want to hit at least $2,000 in PRS, and then you want to have maybe $12,000 in circle sales, so you know you're going to hit your goal. So my point is you need to go beyond just those blues, pinks, and yellows. Um, you want to look at the people outside of just those five girls because there's going to be so many more that's going to help you reach that goal. All those girls within their downline, you need to be talking to them and know what their goals are and helping them also try to reach their goals. By helping each one of these women, you're going to just in turn help yourself. And maybe not focus so much on just promotion. Um, some of those girls might have a goal that maybe they just want $100 in commission that month. 
or maybe they want to have two qualifying parties. Well, if you think about two qualifying parties in a month, that's gonna be $400 in sales, which is pretty good. Um, so knowing each one of your goals and your team and what their goals are, again, it's just going to continue to help you. Um, so that's kind of what I have for you. This business is not designed for you to succeed and be at the very top and make you know, the uh, mascara millionaires. You're not gonna be doing that without building a team and helping the other girls below you to also achieve great things. So I just want you to really focus on that and remember that. So now I'm going to introduce Ashley. She is my um, personal leader. She sponsored me in July. She's fantastic. She's an orange elite status presenter and uh, she is going to teach us about sponsoring it and you want to hear what she has to say because she's awesome at it. So, all right. Oh, thank you, Lacey. Okay, so sponsoring. Um, I have personally sponsored 46 girls since I started with Unique in July of 2014. I didn't really start sponsoring a whole lot until the last couple of months. Um, in February, I sponsored 10 personally, and in January, I sponsored seven. Um, I really started taking a look at what I was doing that was different and why I was um, recruiting so many women all of a sudden, and I've kind of written it all down and planned to share all my secrets with you. But um, first and foremost, you have got to step outside of your comfort zone. Um, one thing I tell everybody is become comfortable with being uncomfortable. Um, if you do not step outside of your comfort zone, this isn't going to happen. And I'll tell you more about that right now. Uh, let me see here. Your hobbies and what are your hobbies and interests? What things do you have going on in your life that is outside of unique? Um, like for instance, we have a doll business. So I'm in a lot of American Girl doll groups. Uh, we are, I'm in soccer groups with other soccer moms, things like that. Other things outside of makeup that you are interested in. Join those groups. Um, be involved in those groups. Be interacting with the women in those groups. Befriend them um, and interact frequently. And then create a connection with them one-on-one -on -one in messages. Get to know them. And then share the unique opportunity after you've established a relationship. Don't start the conversation about makeup. You want to form relationships with these women and genuine friendships and relationships with these women. You're not trying to sell them up front. Um, next, you want to like competitors' makeup pages. Um, the like Revlon, CoverGirl, get on those pages. Um, I know I have a Revlon video that shows up in my newsfeed all the time, and there are thousands of likes and thousands and thousands of comments from women on that video. I send them a friend request. I be become friends with those women. They obviously love makeup, and they obviously love a mascara that I feel like we have a better one of. So that um, those ladies become my friends on Facebook, and I interact with them. Don't drop your link in the comments on those videos. It's just kind of spammy. Um, you're not going to get very far with that. Actually connecting with the women that are interacting on that page is the best way to go about it. Next, um, I join work from home groups. Now this, you're not really going to get a whole lot of um, sponsoring out of this group. What you're really going to get with that is networking with other networking women. Um, for instance, a 31 bag lady will send you her makeup friends. If you send your bag loving friends over to her, um, you network with other networking women. And finally, my number one way of sponsoring recently is what I like to call cold messaging. Um, I will just flat out send a message to women that I can obviously tell by stalking their Facebook, love makeup, or um, could use extra income and I compliment them and I let them know how beautiful they are. All women deserve to hear that they're beautiful and they all are each and every one of them. And I let them know that I think that, and I ask them, have you ever considered joining unique? And I plant the seed and start the conversation. Um, I interact with them. I know a lot from their Facebook 
um, just by creeping their page. I can, I can hold a conversation with these women about regular everyday life and incorporate the unique opportunity into our conversation all at the same time. Um, that is the number one way. And these women might not necessarily um, join right away, but at least you're planting the seed and giving them the, the idea, sharing the opportunity with them so that when they do come back around, they're ready and they've been watching you and they've seen what you've been doing because you're also going to be sharing your excitement and your milestones within your business on your personal page. Women want what other women have. And if you aren't sharing those things on your personal page, you should be. Um, Ever, that's how other women will see what is going on with your business. It'll spark interest. It'll show how successful your team and your company is and how exciting things are. Just share all, no matter how big or small the milestone is, share the excitement with everybody else. Get everybody else excited about what you are doing. Um, I try to message at least five to 10 women every day um, and share the unique opportunity with them daily. Um, Another good tip, side note, is your past hostesses. If you have past hostesses that have had uh, qualifying parties, you want to talk to them about the unique opportunity. You want to share with them what all there is to, what, what all you can give them on the opportunity side as far as the hostess rewards being something that they can earn for themselves and their family, the perks of being a unique prisoner. Um, past hostesses make incredible prisoners. Um, showing off your prisoner's kit on your page, it, it is never too early to get started um, recruiting. That's what we are here for, to help you build your teams, even if you are a day in and you have a girl that wants to join this journey with you, get them on board and we will help, sponsor, or we will help train them and mentor them right alongside you. Um, you're nev it's never too early to start sponsoring. Um, so like I said, when Women want what other women have, so continue sharing the unique opportunity with every woman you encounter. And lastly, I'll leave you with this, and it goes back to what I said in the beginning. All it takes is 20 seconds of insane courage, and I promise you something great will happen. I'm so thankful that all of you have tuned in to watch this and be watching for our next uh, video next week, and I've enjoyed talking with you. Bye.